But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Alright, that was a new intro. Can I keep that in? That's what she said. Let's go. Greetings! Gotta admit, you're a manga. It's a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A Doppler assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. How would Geralt know? Geralt wasn't there when he was impersonating Caleb. Dudu, tell me. The halfling Bibervelt goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Tux. Ever considered leaving? Forgetting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. All right. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Let's see. Um. Oh, right. Card thing. Let's uh, finish the card thing. Then, then the lion. Oh, that's bad luck, Zoltan. Get out. About those cards. You got them. Got the Isengrim card. Sure here. Ha! The sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. He really likes his cards. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, Could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Naturally. Who's Caesar Pilsen? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Angler's Club, the pride of the Pontar. 
But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good All luck right. to you, Geralt. <laughs> no beating Ooh. around the bush, Damn. then. Let's go slap someone's ears a bit. Get out of the way. <clears throat> you have cards to fetch. Let me look at the map. Ah, very close by. Dude, this guy's fast. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the card there. I'm gonna buy, rip, like, steal from one of the gangsters? Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Besides, Caesar would never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also, why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivi, Caesar Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Oh, that's that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt. Fish? Sure. Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta? You betcha. Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the thunders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Recent early isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some plowing grammar purist? Wilson, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Gah! Cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or nightcrawlers. 
though the pike aren't as eager, I don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Caer Morhen? <laughs> Bombs. Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Both and have many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another I thought it was funny. <clears throat> right. Can see the bottom of this one. Sure, blame that on us too. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done. I'm just some quick saving and see. Forget what happened last time. What about last time? Should they have yanked some... so hard you wouldn't have fallen in? Something out of this myself? You know? Seems to me I've heard of you before. Let's see. Any, any more loot before I check the... No? Alright. Oh, it's over here. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Your silver, you say? A key. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. See, find door this. behind a bookcase. Let's find this space Classic. suspicious, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see. Loot. Loot. Isn't that portrait of Emperor yeah, Mayor him. Temper on wood? Pretty flattering, I'd say. That guy? Full armor of the seventh Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Collection? Or admiration? Joachim Devet Skull. Hmm. Pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Did I steal? Oh, necklace. Ornate sword. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Ah, here's Fringilla. Card was that valuable? Interesting. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Maybe I should close this. Nope. Leaving evidence is uh, good enough. <laughs> Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry? Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. I if any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Uh, let's protect him. Leave him alone. Cleaver will be extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Sure. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. 
I feel like we just jumped a couple of steps in this story. Oh, oh well. Ah, you have a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. You walk him to Ved's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. Oh, well, we can always go back for the rope if it's worth money. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Right, just talking in front of a bunch of people. About how we uh, basically broke into this guy's cabinet and stole a bunch of stuff. Sure. Let's see. Where are we going? No way of getting there any faster than running, I guess. I wish I could keep the cards, though. You look familiar. I like to play quit. I wouldn't mind better cards. Remember his reaction when he lost to me? Just a shame to lo lose to such a shit deck. <laughs> Gotta do something about that. It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? At this point, you could just take the card. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about this uh, this person, but I care about playing Gwent. Agreed. <laughs> I'm here. I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play. Let's play. Was there any way to not give a crap about him and play Gwent? I don't think so. Nah, who knows, maybe we get a card out of this. Out with you. These are not... Very interesting cards. Well, this is interesting. Okay, that's fine enough. Okay. Started with this, just get it out of my hand. I might as well match it. Quite right. I was thinking about finding an opportunity to play the spy. Works for me. Ooh, that's good for next turn. And this is good for a losing turn. Or if we are in such a lead that. Fort 2. 
Um, let's see if I can play this. Leaves up an opportunity to use the fog. Make sure I don't draw it. That is uh, very fortunate for me. Still in the lead. <clears throat> Sorry. Still in the lead. That was a mistake. I should have done the fog first, because I might have risked drawing my fog. It's actually just a mistake. Play one of this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Definitely playing the fog now. I don't think I'm gonna get many more chances. I can keep trading like this. I have so much more. So many more cards than he does. Plus, I have one on the way. The rain would be pretty bad here, though. Rain card would hit me pretty hard. Decoy this? Nah. Slam this down and win. Okay. Might be overkill, but... It's fine. My turn. Let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, we can play this. Well, we win anyways. <laughs> it's nothing... Nothing our opponent can do about this. I just won the card. I don't care about him or you or any of this crap. Just give me the card. <laughs> Gwent is more valuable to me. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course, here. Thank you, sir. Keeps popping up as if it's in my deck. Well, they are in my deck. All right. Okay. That means the other two are in here as well. Uh, okay. Sure. It's just a strong card. Uh... Ah, alright. Is that the other one? No, I don't remember the name. I feel like the other... No, that's not it. Also. I feel like it was a monster card. It's 
This one's probably Nilf Guardian, the one we found. I have a lot of Nilf Guardian cards. Potent cards. Maybe make a Nilf Guardian deck. Something that can be looted. Meteor writing god. It's worth looking into some of the other factions. I have a lot of them. Uh, I have a lot of pretty strong cards on, uh, on the Nilf Guardian uh, side too. I've seen better. <laughs> I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I might not do it on camera though, because it's it's not so fun to look at me just uh, browsing through the cards. Oh, looks like he has some special armor on. Ah, so I get to keep the cards. That's nice. So far. I'll teleport. Get out of the way. Happiness will come today. Zoltan. Get out. Got the card, Zoltan. Ha! Seems we'll make it before the king of beggars buggers can get me. Come on. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cards. Not ready to give it up. I want to keep the cards for myself. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk, no doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone, as long as they pay. Burning magic stuff? Oh! Oh, I can't wait to get the king. The beggar's out of my... Ah, at last. I fear the body is gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Don't, Don't worry about it, I got this. My plan is to get away with the coin and them. And the cards. Don't you worry about that, sir. I got your back. Go on, Geralt! After him! I'd only slow you down! Well, I, I was inside. The, what? S sure. <laughs> Please don't tell me we have to go up like 15 floors. What? Can't understand a word. Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Never. That's what he said. Loot? Loot? No. I 
Hold on. I see some chests here. Oh, nothing. They're just bags. <laughs> Walking around here is a nightmare for the camera. Come on. Naturally. Loot, please. You do me like this. I just want to loot everything. I'm the richest man alive. I see you. You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. <laughs> so, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. I'll take the cards. Are you kidding me? Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. I don't know how much I paid for it, but... I mean, if it was like 20,000... Fringilla Vigo? Oh, that card isn't... That's eh, okay. John Natalis, that one we saw. Isengrim, okay, we saw. So it was those cards. The ones I thought. I was just not sure. Uh, let's see, let's go through it again, just to be sure. It was... Uh, <clears throat> this one? Not sure why this is so special. I guess it's decent. Enough. Then of course, this guy. Strong. And Elven card. This one. Seems very strong. A uh, unique card with an effect. That's a 10 damage unique card with an effect. That seems pretty potent, I have to say. Anyways, nothing hurts as much as some time. Um, the card thing show up? Fernan Roach? Is that, is that his name? No. I suppose we have to go help him deal with uh, Vess or Wes first. Uh, before we get a chance to play him. And of course there's this down here for more cards. Uh, I have this tournament in the back of my mind. Um, I would like to attempt... Well, I can't do it now, I think. I think I have to go do this first. Mm, anyways, let's go do this, since we're here. Latter. Well, hello there. Is there any... Sorry for stomping all over your bed. 
and your face. It's not here. Right. What? Is it? Ah. All right. <laughs> How does one get inside there? In here, maybe. This one's still breathing. I is letting some still Might want to look around some. I might. Maybe up here. Greetings, Hyde. Necessarily makes sense to be in here, but I'll check. Oh. It's a dramatic. Oh. Boom. Oh. Found it. Alright, uh, where do we go now? What do we do? I think it's a little bit too late into the episode to start the dandelion thing. Um, also the trist thing. You can go do some fisticuffs. We do need to start cleaning out the, the map. Let's start dealing with this. He's uh, have a tendency to scam me, so I'm gonna oh, save beforehand. I'm Geralt of Rivia. It matters not what you're called, it matters not where you're from. What matters is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer. Who organizes these fights? Tournaments like this have been held in Skellige, Velen, and Novigrad for ages. Each region has its own champion. Novigrads is the tailor. Defeat Mortimer, and you'll gain the right to challenge him. Wait, the tailor guy? The elf? Is someone clapping in the background, or are they doing something else? I'm ready. Let's do this. I don't know what shenanigans this is. Oh, you go for a cheeky... To surrender. Redivia! No? I'm gonna throw me? Oh my. The dodge! This is wonky. There we go. Out you go. Geralt of Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer. Behold your prize, champion. It's no cakewalk to the title of champion. More opponents await. You must defeat Georgius George, who reigns at the Golden Sturgeon, and also O'Neill, whom you'll find near the entrance to the slums. Only then will you gain the right to challenge for the title of Champion of Novigrad. Sure. Why not? Works for me. Um, I also kind of want to start the uh, Swords and Doublings thing. Um... But we'll do that after then the lion and Vern Roach Entress. Whee! Anyways, I will leave this for tomorrow. Because who knows what I'll be dragged into. Oh, 
deal with this. Off it goes. Yeah, I'll deal with that tomorrow. Start this tryst thing tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And... Uh... Oh, yeah. Bye.